Hey everybody, going to be going over Serpents 3 and how to add your social media links so that you can get more followers. You can sell your product or just get the likes or just give information, documentation on it and make it really easy for everybody. And this is just one way. I know my camera's over here, but we're looking this way. So I'm going to go into the LM Studio 6, which I'm working on, which is turning out to be pretty decent. And I've already got a little setup here. I know you probably heard that motorcycle in the background. Can't really help that. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything. And I don't want it to be intrusive, so I'm going to put the icons down at the bottom. But before I do any of that, I want to jump over here into icons. So you type in YouTube icon, grab something that's going to look good in the display. And so I'll just click this one, view file. I want a PNG. And so I'll save as, and it is a PNG. I've already got TikTok there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and throw that in. And then let's go back one, if it's going to let me. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to get the uh, Instagram. So I'll get an Instagram icon as well. Pick something that's going to you know show up nicely. Obviously, any of these colors do good. This one's transparent. So I'll just click on this one, view file, right click, and then save this one too. And it's also a PNG, which is perfect. And so I'm going to come back over here. And what I want to do is shift a S, throw in a label. And the label can kind of denote what's going on below, obviously. So what I want to do is say, follow me on, you don't have to capitalize that, socials. And so right below that, we're going to put a button on a row. So we'll just put a button and we can tie the button in. And it's going to pop up right there. So shift a S grab a row node and drop in the row node. And I want to align all of these buttons. Then I can just minimize this one because I don't really need it open. I'm not going to be using it again. And I'm going to start just chaining these together. I've got three, so I'm going to put three in. And once I get that connected, that is now I've got these three buttons. They are aligned. And like if I didn't want them aligned, you want to kind of spread them out, you can. Don't really want to do that though. And if you're using Serpent's Visual Script, it's very easy to find. You can just go up to where the Discord is and right click and click to get Serpent's Operator. We're kind of taking from the giant here and then Shift V. Uh, you can grab a button, but I'm going to get the Run Operator because I just want to do an operator for this. And we'll actually do one as a button as well. So just shift V, we can throw in a button just so you can kind of see uh, the two ways of doing this. And so now I've got the button operator here and I could copy that into all of them, but not everybody works the same. So I'll put an operator together here and I'll just go ahead and connect that. And it's really easy. I'm just going to be grabbing the URL. And so I've already got um, a URL right here for... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me go back over to my TikTok page. And let me see here. I want to grab a link. I want to copy that link. Then I can come back over, control V, hit enter, paste that bad boy in. And I'll go ahead and save this because anytime you get ahead, you just want to go ahead and make sure you save. All right, that looks good. And now shift a S I'm going to get icon and each one of these can be different. I'm going to be grabbing a path and tagging it into the icon socket on each one of these. And for the first one, I can literally just back this out. I don't need any uh, text data in there. I'm going to go into the desktop icons and you can click right here to get the PNGs to show up as icons here as well. And I'll just do TikTok first and TikTok is going to show up. 
which is nice. And then I'll back out that text data, this text data, and then just kind of rinse and repeat. And then I'll grab my YouTube. And then I'll grab the final, should be my Instagram. There we go. So now we've got these icons and they're kind of small. So I would like to enlarge those a touch. And I think we could actually kind of play around with the row node just a little bit. I don't want to do too much, but I do want to say center them. And let's go for the X and kind of scale them out just a little bit. And the social thing is kind of off center. So maybe just go left with it and then line it up that way and make sure you are saving because anytime you're using the scale on any of these nodes, it's going to crash at some point soon. So that's lined up kind of nice. You can do it any way you want. Uh, you got an alert feature there if you want like the background to be red so people can kind of see what's going on there. And I'm not gonna do that. So that looks kind of good. So for the Y scale, I could Make these just a touch bigger, not too much. And that way people can go ahead and click on them. So I've got one of these set up already. So I'm gonna go to custom and I've got the operator here, which I should name TikTok actually. So I'll just name that one TikTok. And then if I click on the uh, TikTok, it is now going to take me over to my page, which is really cool. Uh, so that's good, uh, all good and wonderful. All right, and over in my YouTube section, I wanna go to the customization or the customized channel, if that's, you know, if you got that, and we'll go to basic info, and then here's my tag handle right here, is how people are gonna get there. So I'll control C, copy that, and then I can jump back over here. And we'll just name this one. Let's see what was the last one is Instagram. So I'll need another one of these to be the operator setup. And I can just shift D that it'll be tick taco too, but I'm gonna change that to YouTube. And then I can come over here and I'll go ahead and grab that as a custom grab YouTube and then I'll come down here and let's back all that out and boom. So if I click now, it is going to show YouTube as the operator. And I don't know why, but sometimes the tool tips crashes things and makes it really buggy, but I'm going to put one in anyways. You know, see how they hover. If you hover your mouse over, it'll now say socials link YouTube. And if we click that, that should bring me to the page. All right, so I'm good. And there we go. So now we can come back over here and we can finish this one up. And if I have a link for, say, my Instagram, I can go grab that. And here is my sad little Instagram, which I have not used in a long time. Oops, didn't want that. Go back to Instagram. Let's go ahead and copy that one in. And then we can go back over and I'll just paste the URL in right here. And that is gonna be the Instagram. And so if I now click on Instagram, it should pop me over to my sad little page. Perfecto. And now if we wanna make this stand out just a little bit, I'll go ahead and save it. We can put in a box node and kind of box this thing in. And I always like to grab anything I'm working on something like this and do a control J, hit N for the end panel. Let's go up to node, click on color and change that to a color that, you know, is kind of offset. And then we can bring the label size up and then we can just type in socials, come back down to the serpents tab, press the end panel and voila, you've now got a setup here that you can work with and I'll throw a box in and I don't put the box in with these usually so that if I don't want that box to be there um, I can change it and you can make it red letters once that's in the box you can put the alert on that actually looks kind of cool and if you want you could 
and it's gonna get maybe a little buggy so be careful doing boxes inside boxes but that'll work too and then we can center all that up and I'll just actually click center and I got an idea here let's uh, one two three four maybe five spaces in front of that and that looks pretty good now it's centered so I came up with a nice way of doing that anyways smash that subscribe smash that like check out the playlist for the serpents tutorials that I've done I do not get sponsored by them at all but I really enjoy making add-ons go check out my links in the description below because I am working on and have already put out one iteration of version 6 for the Light Magic Studio and it stores an entire collection with energy properties, scale properties of any object you have. It'll do the light and it will also do some of this uh, shadow soft size or the radius for the point light in the spot. So go check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one.